Today I want to talk about XRP and XLM and even a little about XDC as well as I begin to expand more upon what XDC is and how it works and why I think it will be extremely valuable in the next uh, financial system that runs on crypto but I will concentrate on XRP and XLM here and specifically as how they may relate to the price of gold and I'm talking about this again because there has been some posts over the last um, few days now uh, primarily from crypto Hulk who I do f follow I think he finds a lot of really interesting information but I do think that it needs to be questioned as well and I want to also tie this into the recent BRICS summit as well. Um, there was a lot of developments there that really makes it sound like we can be positioned to have some kind of cryptocurrency run as the uh, financial infrastructure for a commodity backed uh, economic system or organization. So this, I don't really know how th this might be interpreted in a literal sense or if it's just figurative because I haven't ever heard of XDC, Algo, or IOTA being worth copper, palladium, or iridium, but I have heard about XRP and XLM being linked to gold and silver in one way or another so with the whole BRICS thing um, it's essentially a organization of different countries that wants to move away from having to trade with the USD and in all honesty I can't hold it against them but a lot of this comes from information from the IMF and the BIS as well that has indirectly or directly referred to XLM and XRP before. And these Basel 3 and 4, these are um, international banking uh, expectations and codes and standards that uh, introduced a set of reforms designed to mitigate risk by requiring banks to maintain certain leverage ratios and keep certain levels of reserve capital on hand. Tier 1 asset clarity and market liquidity management as well. And I think XRP and XLM make the most sense here because they have both been referred to by the IMF as a... Uh, as an asset that can be pegged to the value of something else, either a one-to-one uh, -one with USD or in the application of something like the BRICS organization, possibly even gold and silver or some other kind of a uh, combination of different c commodities that would equalize the assets across all of the participating countries. So um, I believe it was at the end of last week, C C Crypto Hulk found some site that was saying that one XRP would be worth about 9.34 ounces of gold, which as of right now uh, would be probably about $17,000. Well, a lot of people immediately jumped on this and he did find a couple of other sites that said the same thing. They were, were probably using the same uh, information pool as this first site, but there were others um, that, sh that showed that same kind of thing as well. So that immediately made me question some things. And if you go on that site r r right now, XRP and XLM, both show these very high valuations in terms of gold and one XRP is r r r roughly um, about 30 uh, is about 
three times the value of uh, of XLM, which is a trend that it has shown for a very long t- t- time now. So I think it's all very interesting. Of course, with the information that we have publicly available, there's no way to prove this. And I think it's interesting, but it's also very uh, theoretical and it might just be some kind of an a uh, problem in their uh, pool of information as well and how their uh, site is actually c- connected because I don't think that this information would be made public before any kind of a uh, official agreement between a lot of different entities and c- 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 countries on earth. So if we continue this, we had some people who were really um, against this, and I completely understand that. But with the larger, uh, I guess, quote unquote, con- uh, conspiracy information that I'm interested in, that is heavily dependent upon b- b- bricks and gold and silver and the U.S. debt and all of that stuff, this just was another point that just opened my eyes as to what might actually be ha- ha- happening out there now that could make XRP and or XLM a uh, currency that can use all of their existing connections and all of the different um, people and organizations that they've worked with in the past, such as the IMF and the BIS and a number of different central banks, um, how that could all work together to actually position these assets in a way where they could uh, convey this kind of a high value because of the value that they represent. It's not that the actual currencies will be um, will be pegged to the price of gold, but they could be uh, pegged to the value of those if an organization wanted to represent that value with XRP and XLM. So this guy, Ariel, he's uh, put out a, a, a lot of really interesting information. Uh, and lately he's been talking about the U.S. debt clock a lot as well as well as a forex chart this has to do with the uh, theory that a lot of countries will be revaluing their currencies off of gold and each of these uh, showed really interesting errors on the exact same days which kind of goes in line with what we are talking about in some kind of a project sandman kind of a scenario where the world just all of a sudden decides to stop using the USD, which I don't think it'll happen actually overnight, but in terms of a worldwide uh, scale, I think overnight might mean months, years, you know, however long. And it is entirely possible in my own opinion. And this also goes in line with uh, some cryptocurrency coins that were on uh Bloomberg that were shown when they were talking about c- 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 commodities. And if you look up ISO 4217, that relates to commodities and c- c- currencies that are not specific to any certain c- 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 country. So there is framework for these kinds of things t- t- to actually happen um, that could connect to things like XRP and XLM that have positioned themselves with uh, working with cross-border p- 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 payments and the uh, go- 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 governments of a lot of different c- c- countries that are involved in the b- BRICS or organization as well. So I uh, found this from Rickus a-, a while back. He shows some really interesting technical analysis that refers to uh, precious metals, and in particular, the copper to gold r- 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 ratio, which in turn leads the price action of Bitcoin. So I won't go too far in 
to that, but I do think there are some really interesting co co correlations that have been uh, shown off of the um, copper to gold ratio and the price action of Bitcoin, which in my opinion just goes to further show that there is at least some connection right now in between the worldwide uh, actual commodity economy and the price of crypto, even though right now that's probably more driven by the commodity impacts on the d d d d d d d DXY. But it is a, a, a really interesting point that goes with um, what I'm t talking about right now. So um, Zach Rector, who I f follow and watch a lot as well, um, he has uh, made some connections between the BRICS countries and XRP. He has found and shown that a lot of the central banks of the countries involved in this organization have some involvement with at least Ripple and XRP. And if you look at some other information that we will show here soon, uh, there is actual um, uh, do, 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 uh, do, do, documentation that um, that BRICS itself has worked with Ripple and XRP. So j just to paint a scale of what can actually happen here, uh, ch ch China has said that they want to enter a golden era. And it's interesting that they use the word golden, right? Of course, that's probably just a f figure of speech, but China has been purchasing a ton of gold. And I think ton might be a pun here, but, but they have quite literally bought tons and tons and tons of gold. So, um, this, I don't really pay attention to a lot of these boom posts, but after the last BRICS summit, which happened in August, there was a lot of talk about actually moving away from the USD for trade s s settlements within all of those c c countries, which we'll show a lot of examples about. So here is that uh, document from B B B B BRICS itself. And here it shows that funds needed to execute a contract can be temporarily pre-stored in a linked virtual escrow-like account associated with the contract to ensure fund availability at the time of execution. And this came from uh, Ripple and XRP from some information in 2020, which we know that XRP in particular, their main um, target audience right now is uh, these kinds of central banks and eliminating the need for Nostro Vivosto accounts which are basically a, a, a lot of cash that are just needed to complete tr tr transactions. Well, if you have XRP or XLM, y you could just transact in XRP and XLM and then convert that to uh, whatever country's c c currencies are that uh, that tr transaction is actually interacting on. So it, it just sh shows again that there are ties there. Um, so as we've also seen in the news, there are multiple countries that are beginning to trade oil and gas outside of the petro dollar or the USD. In the 1970s, we made an agreement with Saudi Arabia that all of their oil and gas would have to be sold in USD, which has uh, primarily contributed to why our economy has become so successful over the last 50 years. And if that were to just all of a sudden stop, it would hurt us in a way where I don't think we're able to truly comprehend how harmful that would be. Uh, he, he's also talking about uh, 
Iraq here, who is one of the revaluation uh, in terms of a gold-backed c- 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 currency. They are one of the main names in that whole uh, line of thought because their currency has been so devalued against what the price of gold is that they would be one of the quote-unquote first ones up in that revaluation. And our government has met with uh, Iraq multiple times over the last month or so, especially as we've seen more and more word of these kinds of changes. It, it just makes me pause. But for some examples, uh, BRICS oil production will control 80% of the world's oil production as of r- right now. So if 80% of the world's oil production didn't get traded in USD, that would be a a significant impact on our economy and it would hurt a whole lot. So one of the big things that came up out of the recent BRICS conference is that uh, the uh, is that Saudi Arabia was actually accepted into the, 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 the organization. They are one of the ones that has signed an agreement with Ripple as well. Um, and it just goes to show that all of the central bank work that Ripple uh, has done with these different c- 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 countries can really be thought of in a different way where it can possibly even be backed by gold or a combination of different commodities as well. This right here is a pretty good um, recap of what actually happened in that conference. So Argentina, Egypt, Ethiopia, Iran, Saudi Arabia, and the UAE have all been invited to join the BRICS organization, which now takes it up to 36% of global GDP and 47% of the world's population. And many of those are in uh, financially underserved areas where people like Ripple and uh, now in particular XLM, they have really been working to create a cross-border payment frameworks in those kinds of areas and those kinds of areas just happen to be the ones that are a part of the BRICS organization uh well so here we have more uh updates so as of january BRICS will control over 50 percent of oil production on earth um we have another company that that has signed a 500 million dollar credit facility with saudi arabia import bank intended for the purchase of non-crude oil commodities like gold and uh, copper so again we've got ties into these countries who are tied to uh, xrp and or xlm making moves on commodities as well the uh, Hong Kong Monetary Authority ex- uh, plans to expand its Enbridge Central Bank to digital c- 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 currency project, reflecting global efforts to transact in alternatives to the U- U- USD. So, again, it's another example. Um, there were multiple announcements made <clears throat> at this b- BRICS conference in August. Some said that they directly wanted to move away from the USD, while a lot of others just said that they um, wanted to move away from it eventually and or they didn't even directly call it out, but everyone knew what they were were actually talking about. So we have uh, Brazil saying that, we have um, Russia saying that as well here and uh, you have a CEO of SB Group um, which is involved with 
Standard Bank. We have talked about them uh, and and uh, and their involvement in uh, with XLM as well. So we just continue to make more and more ties to a gold-backed XRP and or XLM or whatever other kind of crypto that they decide to actually use. And we continue to show that Ripple itself has made many connections here. So what does this mean? I'm not saying that XRP will directly be backed by gold or XLM will be directly backed by silver or, or anything else. But if these countries and their central banks are working with uh, Ripple, for example, and they are trying to tokenize value that is represented by gold and silver or a combination of other c c commodities, then that would drive the price of XRP or XLM on those networks up very, very, very high. So even though these these um, homespun claims of XRP being worth like what anywhere between 9,000 and 20k I can't speak to that in particular just because I don't have information that that actually shows that but we do continue to find many examples of bricks and their uh, countries central banks already having either um, agreements or CBDC like pilots that use Ripple and uh, could eventually use XRP as well. So th this was an interesting one, but I was just wanting to address my thoughts on all of this uh, talk that has happened over the last few days now.